so this upcoming episode is in one of my favorite cities in Hanoi. I went to, to school in Hanoi. I went to the University of Hanoi for six months back in the last six months of the U.S. embargo, basically, in 91. Mm -hmm. There were no cars in the city. It's right. completely changed now. You know, Hanoi has changed, but the bones are still there. Right. I mean, the things that you probably loved about the place are still there. The French architecture, right, the yeah, boulevards, yeah. the smell of Vietnam that grabs you and keeps you forever. And all the, like, the food stands on the, the street. The food stands, and, the street culture, um, the sensibility, the colors. And, I mean, did you find, because when I was there in 91, there really, there weren't many Americans. There were a handful mm -hmm. of us actually living in Hanoi at the time, but... Um, People would talk about the war, but, but they were also incredibly curious about America. Now more than ever. Um, I mean, most of the country are young. Most of the living Vietnamese have no recollection. They weren't alive for the war. It, it, it's more and more every day an abstraction. Um, many, many, many American veterans of the war go back and find themselves ex just devastated by how welcome they are. Liver, it's good for you. Okay. Oh, Beautiful. Wow. With a quail's egg on top? Wow, that's cool. An egg in anything makes it better. <laughs> Never seen a quail's egg. No. Yeah. It's like a tiny little egg. It's like a little baby egg. <laughs> wow, that looks great. That is... It's, uh... it's going to change your worldview, my friend. <laughs> so good. You sat down with President Obama. You went out to a meal with President Obama. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? We've been secretly planning this for some time, colluding. Uh -huh. No one knew. The uh -huh. network didn't know. Uh, the camera people didn't know. Uh, very few people outside of a small group at the White House knew. We've been looking to do something. And when we heard that uh, the president was planning... Whose idea was it? Was it your idea? Was White House call. Really? They're like, we like the show and we'd love to have the president do something with you? I don't know the exact wording, but right. for whatever reason, cool. um, they seem to, he seemed willing to play. And um, my feeling was if we're going to do this, we should do it right. I mean, we shouldn't be sitting in a banquet room at the Hilton. We should do what we do, which is hang out in some working class place. So, did uh, people in the restaurant know he was about to pop in? No one knew ever that. that wow. You know, in five minutes, the president is going to roll. The president of the United so States is going to roll up. Did people flip out? They flipped, uh -huh. and really, one of the one of the great one of the great things that came out of it was the reaction of ordinary Vietnamese and people. You're not loving your liver, but it's good for you, like my mother used to say, as she approached me with something terrifying. I've never had liver before. I didn't know what it tasted no. like. No, oh, this should come as no <laughs> surprise. I've never had liver. I know people. Yeah, but this, I love the tartare. The tartare okay. is incredible. I've never seen a guy enjoy a cold beer really? in a low plastic stool more than President Obama, by the way. I can't wait to see that.